Hi, my name is Jim. Hey, I'm Rebecca, and this is our mess. We are a family of six living in a 36-foot RV while we tame this mess and create a homestead for our family. Like most kids, my kids love a swing set. Any park we go to, the first structure that they want to try are the swings. It doesn't matter what kind of swing it is, they want to check it out. One of their favorite swings is the tire swing at Grandma and Grandpa's house. They've loved it since they were tiny little babies. And of course, when Grandma and Grandpa moved, they brought the tire swing with them. Well, what's keeping us from having one here? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can put together a tire swing of your own. For this project, you'll need a tire, three half inch eye bolts, three nuts, six washers, and some nylon three strand anchor line. Check the description for the Amazon links. First, cut three 10 foot sections of the nylon rope from the end without the loop. Next, you'll make an eye splice on both ends of all three sections of rope, and you'll splice the half inch eye bolt into one of the ends. What, you don't know how to tie an eye splice? That's okay, I don't either. This video will show you the easiest way to tie an eye splice. Once you have all three pieces of rope done, you're ready to assemble. Drill three equidistant holes in your old tire. It's not a bad idea to put some holes on the bottom as well for drainage. Put a washer on the eye bolt that's attached to the rope and drive it through one of the tire holes. Then put the other washer and a nut on the inside and tighten. Are you gonna help me, Jim? Yeah, okay, who's gonna hold these? Me! Continue this for all three of the holes. When you're done, you should end up with all three of your ropes attached to your tire with eye bolts. Hopefully, you've already identified a likely tree. A good tire swing tree needs to be very strong and alive and healthy with strong limbs pretty far up. I'd suggest anywhere from 20 to 30 feet in the air. Do you remember that end of the anchor line that had a loop on it? Well, that's what you're gonna to toss up over the limb of your tree. Make sure you toss it high enough or you will end up climbing that tree to try to get it down. What I need you to do is you need to, I need you to pull the loop thing down so that I, have, I can get the loop from down here and just run the rope through it. He needs you to, to not die. <laughs> that too. That's doing? it, just pull it. Pull, 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 pull. In case you were wondering, this is Grandma and she is our tree climbing expert. She's been climbing trees since she was a kid and she really never stopped. Now you can come down. Wait, wait, Let's, don't come down yet. Let me put it in slow-mo. She can um, put it in slow-mo, Grandpa. For the fall. Yeah. Put the end of the rope through that loop and then cinch it up to the tree limb. From there, you're ready to attach it to the tire swing. For that, we brought in Grandpa. He's our resident knot expert. Grandpa put the tree rope through the eye splices and then tied an overhand knot with a bite or a loop in it so that the height could be adjusted. Then he tied a series of half hitches to lock everything into place. There are many different knot combinations that you can use to hang a tire swing. Just use one that you are familiar with and that will hold the weight. We double checked the height and found it a little too low. After stretching, it was probably gonna drag the ground, especially if any adults got on here. So we put it back up on the truck and untied and retied it about six inches higher. Is it a, that's a boat rope, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not. 
He then coiled the excess rope and secured it to the tree rope. That way, if we ever have to move this to another tree with a higher limb, we have plenty of rope. We can just untie the knots and adjust it as needed. kids absolutely loved it. They play with it almost every day. Next week, join us as we do Christmas in the trailer. Welcome to the mess. Welcome to the mess. Where God takes our mess and makes it his best. Yes. How do you feel? You feel like you made an accomplishment? Yeah! That's good. You're gonna be on the mess. Congratulations, you've arrived. You've arrived. Oh. High five! High five. <laughs>